Good afternoon, everybody. I'm very honored and privileged to have the opportunity to share with you this afternoon about uh, the uh, neuroscience application in marketing. First of all, before we get before I get started, I'm going to give the floor to Professor Hong Bo, who is from the Department of Biomedical Engineering and School of Medicine of Tsinghua University, who is a member of our advisory board at Nielsen. I'm going to give you a few examples later on, but you know, neuroscience. Thinking about that, it can be applied actually in advertising evaluation. It sounds a bit sci-fi, don't doesn't it? So, is it true that uh, today's technology can achieve this? In fact, well, I um, first of all wish to invite some thoughts from Professor Hong. Thank you. I am very glad to have the opportunity to share with you a bit of my research findings. In my lab, uh, we work on the studies of brain. We use different physical materials and everything to put the sensors uh, in, in humans as well as in animal brains. I'm very happy to actually heard hear uh, the notion uh, sensory branding being raised just now uh, by Simon, and uh, we call it we it's got everything to do with our uh, studies actually. Since New Nielsen started its Nielsen Neuro Program, neuroscience Neuro Program, I've been very happy to make my contribution in the science panel of Nielsen Neuro. So today I wish to share with you a bit about what do we do to actually understand what you have in your mind in the marketing process. Uh, is it possible for us to quantify their thoughts? My major is neurotechnology. Well, what I want to tell you is that some of the technologies are already available to tell us uh, what people are thinking. Well, maybe you haven't seen this picture. It looks like stars. Actually, they are not. What are these? Take a guess. Uh, they are neural cells, neurons in our brain. Uh, everyone has about 100 million neurons in our brain. Uh, 100 billion neurons in our brain and these neurons are also connected with each other. Simon told us our feelings are processed by these neurons and our decisions are made uh, because of these neurons. We put a color uh, to some of the neurons. That's why uh, they look green. So how are we going to observe the interactions of neurons? Well, uh, in hospitals, uh, we uh, can have some of the diagnosis of a patient's brain. And by using this machine, we'll be able to know what this person is thinking. Well, for this picture, this patient is thinking about the number three. So maybe we can use the same technology, the EGG technology, uh, to explore uh, the thinking happening inside the brain. A century ago, a psychiatrist in Germany invented this product, the EGG, oh, EEG, with EEG, uh, brain activities can be observed. Well, one day, Hansberg, the inventor, fell uh, from the horse, but then he got a letter from his sister uh, asking if he was injured. He was really surprised. And uh, uh, he discovered that uh, human beings can communicate with each other through brain waves. So when he got back to 
Germany. He started his research, and he found、uh, there was little electricity going on、uh, in the brain when people are using the brain. Since then, since the invention of EEG, it has been widely applied because this is not non-traumatic.、Uh, the only thing you need to do is to put on the hat. So, is there a way for us to translate the brainwave signals? Well, we did an experiment like this. For example, if I ask you to put on a hat, and then I will read some of the names of cities, and then I look at the difference of different cities. For example, if I say Beijing, Shanghai, Guangzhou, Shenzhen, Qingdao, Shenyang, Ulmuchi, when I read these Chinese cities' names, some of the cities, maybe your hometown. Maybe you worked in some of the cities. Maybe you met your first love in some of the cities. If that is the case, then your brain wave will look like this. This is a real-time EEG. What did you see? Well, in your brain,、uh, there was a storm. The red and the blue shows different intensities. But if You've never been to a city, or the city has nothing to do with you, and then your brain wave will look like this. If we put the two image together, showing them side by side. So, could you tell me、uh, which brain is more interested? Of course, the brain on the right side, because the brain wave is much stronger. So by wearing this EEG hat,、uh, we'll be able to translate what you are thinking. And this technology is also used、uh, by the police. Well, this is very useful. It is also very convenient. Uh, but、uh, it is also different from MRI. Well, MRI gives you a steady picture. You detect which area is more active. But using brainwave, we will be able to see the changes inside the brain in accordance with the changing environment. Well, in my lab, we did another research. We asked our students to wear this hat, and the students were able to、uh, control robotic dogs using this hat because、uh, with EEG we'll be able to detect the changes of brain signals or brain waves. In that way, we'll be able to control the robots. Instantly, and、uh, there's a narrow strip on our cortex, which controls different parts of the body. For example, when I move my left hand, then the, the right side of the strip、uh, will send a strong signal, like the second brain here on the screen. This can be detected by EEG. So, if EEG works like this, then we will、uh, detect the signals、uh, by the students who were wearing the hat. Well, this is a very advanced、uh, technology. We call it brain-computer interface. With brain-computer interface, we can greatly help the disabled people. In particular,、uh, Stephen Hawking、uh, is using this interface 
to transcribe what he's thinking. Well, what I showed you so far uh, was all about rational decision making. But uh, apart from being rational, sometimes people are uh, more irrational or emotional. There's a book, Thinking Fast and Thinking Slow. For example, if I ask you a question, how do you like the lighting in the room? Well, you'll come to the conclusion very quickly using your right hemisphere of your brain. But if I ask another question, on this chart, uh, are there more letters E than letters A? Well, then you will do your calculation. In that case, your left hemisphere uh, starts working. Most of the time, positive emotions uh, come from the left hemisphere. Negative emotions come from the right side of the brain, right hemisphere. If we are able to compare the brain waves uh, on the left, on the right, and then we'll, we'll be able to tell whether you are happy or not. Moreover, since EEG uh, can be detected instantly, uh, we'll be able to detect the frequency of the brain waves. And the different frequencies uh, correspond to different activities. For example, theta corresponds to memory, alpha corresponds to alertness. So if we are able to detect all the frequencies of your brain wave, and then uh, we can make this chart. On the y-axis, uh, the y-axis represents frequency. The horizontal axis uh, represents your emotion. If you are very happy and then you are on the right side, if you are unhappy and then uh, your brain wave tends to be on the left side. So with EEG hat, we'll be able to detect what, uh, your emotional stage, your emotional status. A story to share with you. Uh, we had a project together working with an animation maker. Well, the director was very nervous. He didn't know whether uh, his animation film uh, will be popular. And we asked our students to wear this hat when watching the animation film. And we were able to uh, record the emotional data of the students. For example, from uh, minute 40 to minute 45, there should be a climax. But uh, uh, I mean, from minute four to minute five, there should be a climax. But we didn't see the uh, red, and uh, we also gave a suggestion, uh, a give, gave a piece of suggestion to the director because uh, there were too many climaxes in the movie. There's another application. For example, when you watch a video clip online or using uh, or on TV or when you watch a video clip with your mobile phone we can also detect uh, the activities happening inside your brain scientists in Nelson are working on this project and uh, we have developed a mobile device which can be equipped to your glasses or uh, to your earpiece to detect your brain wave. In that way, we can make advertisement more effective. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Professor Hong, for your sharing.
after listening to Professor Hong, uh, I think you have some basic understanding of the science. Now I want to share with you some real life cases. First, let's look at this commercial. Okay, so what you just saw is the uh, 30 second ad clip from Anchor imported uh, milk. Nielsen's got a complete methodology to evaluate the 30 second ad clip and it's uh, working principle is very uh, is identical with the with with the lab scenes that we have just seen from professor hong's work i uh, will invite our focus group people to also wear the eeg caps and uh, we ask them to watch the video clip and we analyze their results i don't know about you guys what's your impression of that clip is it okay? Is it above average? Let me share with you our evaluation results. We played such ads uh, multiple times worldwide and we've got a database we run. And that ad we, I just played for you, um, that ad is ranked as a top 20% in terms of the effect of the previous ad. I'm sure that was also your impression a little earlier. You see that the, the highlight is clear, right? The highlight and message was very clear. No sugar. So in terms of overall effectiveness, attention, emotional engagement, and the memory activation, you can see that emotional engagement and memory activation, both of which has really hit top 20%. Indeed, an ad need to really engage the consumer and uh, achieve emotional resonance. That's critical. Is there anywhere that it needs to be further improved? Honestly, I don't have enough time to share with you the complete report of that ad. Just want to share the following. You can see it's a 30 second one. We are analyzing it second by second. For the first seconds, for example, we call it a noodle chart, right? It's a noodle. The curve basically shows you the effectiveness. And uh, such effectiveness have taken into account attentiveness, emotional engagement, and memory activation. I can tell you that for the first five seconds, it's very impressive. It ask the question at the beginning, remember? That's usually a perfect way to grasp attention for any TV commercials. So it was a very beautifully started. They asked the question. And then we can see that the commercial can be divided into three parts. First, imported. Second message, no sugar added. Third, balanced nutrient. At the end of the uh, duration, it was the logo. This is a very common uh, composition of a TV commercial in China. You can see that in terms of import, in terms of no sugar added, and in terms of uh, balanced nutrient, and in terms of logo, you can see when these uh, inf messages were highlighted, we can see that they all reach very high level. From a scale of 0 to 10, they all reached above 5. From the beginning to the end, most of the time it has engaged the consumers and it has attracted has uh, attracted or activated a bit of the memory of a consumer. But we can see that at the middle of this of the commercial, in terms of uh, no sugar added, we can see that the effect is not as good. Then we try to dig deeper for the reason. 
Now I wish to get a bit deeper to try to analyze them one indicator by one indicator. Again, the trend, we can see that if there are problems, where are they? And what can we do to improve it? You can see that the, the gray line, the gray curve uh, signifies memory activation. And it's got a bit to do with EEG uh, analysis. So you know what, the memory activation has a lot to do with the visual effects, a lot to do with the uh, sound effects, and how much of it has got association with your childhood memory. But you can see that this gray line, when it comes to the no sugar added part, it's very low, this memory part. In terms of uh, the orange line, orange curve, it is about attentiveness, attention. In comparison, it's at a very high level. You might think that attention is a good element, right? I mean, I've grasped the eyeballs of everybody. It's not the case. Like Professor Hong mentioned a little earlier, such attention in TV commercials, they are not necessarily always good. Sometimes you don't want your consumers to pay attention to your commercial while, you know, like doing a mathematical question or something. You want them to have an easy time and embrace your product. No sugar added. You know, no sugar added. This message is unprecedented. It's brand new. And Anchor is the first brand to ever raise that point. Therefore, consumers have no memories about it. So when they say no sugar added, you will see a big uh, Chinese character that says sugar, and many kids are dancing around it and trying to remove it. So you don't have any previous experience to associate that message with. You can see that the visual effect was quite clear. A big Chinese character uh, that says sugar. And their idea is for the kids to push that big Chinese character sugar away from the screen. But at the beginning, you might not have, you were a bit confused about what that means. But then you can see that after you got the point, the attention started to decline. But then at that moment, the memory activation started to increase, which was good. And that means that the consumer has got the message, they understood it, they lost the attention, but their memory started to build up. Next, a few other points to be further improved. Well, we did our eyeball tracking. You can see that. You can see that very cute kids are showcased here. The reddish or brownish color uh, indicates the focus point of uh, of the consumers. You can see that they were all focusing on the kids. They they completely missed the product. We know that food and beverage TV, TV commercials, they will most certainly showcase their product application. But it, while you are showcasing the kids, the characters, you really have to balance the packaging of your product with the cute kids, right? Otherwise, if the kids were too cute, they would miss out completely uh, what the product would, was in the beginning. Just now I showed you the uh, analysis of the TV 
communication effect second by by second by second. But now, now that I I can see the effectiveness, neuroscience effectiveness, second by second, then I think we shall、uh, bring up all the most effective highlights from from a clip and put it together. So this is the complete full length of. The This is a, a very effective way.、Uh, it's a very humorous commercial, isn't it? It's very effective, actually. And this is its noodle trend, because we know that we know its effectiveness by second. Then through neuroscience technique, we could、uh, we could congest it into 15 second one. Now it's compressed into 13 seconds. I don't know what your reaction is. In comparison, you don't see much difference at all, right? Basically, no difference at all because of this very good and sound tool that it has been able to really take out the most effective and meaningful visual effects and sound effects in it. We maintain all of that and cut out all the unnecessary ones. So we've done huge, a great deal of proof work to try to prove that ads can perform better at relatively shorter period of time. We analyzed a total of 75 TV commercials. We compare the original version, which is longer, with the compressed version. We found that 95% of the time, the compressed version has even better effect than the original one. I'm not going to elaborate on why, because, in, in frank, in, frankly, I'm sure that while you are working on the original version, you've got too many to tell. Right? There are too many. Gaming going on, too many debate going on among all the stakeholders. So the eventual result, sometimes it may have eluded,、um, you know, the consumers and everything. But now through the very effective compression, you were able to keep its essence. Especially this year, most of our partners are faced with a shortage of their budget. They have to. Uh, start to rely on a shorter version advertising. Well, this is a very effective way for you not to cut out the use, useful part and cut out the unnecessary part. Save money. Now, in the interest of time, I'm not going to elaborate every point with a、uh, case study. But just in closing, I just want to once again emphasize. That using neuroscience is not just a sci-fi movie anymore. Nielsen has、uh, piloted its products projects in more than 40 countries and territories. And in China, this is the fifth year for Nielsen to run a neuroscience study in application in TV commercials. And、uh, we apply our neuroscience application not only in advertising but also in packaging, in product, in branding. And indoor、uh, promotion design. So we truly look forward to more opportunities to、uh, discussing with you on this application. Then during the tea break, me and、uh, Professor Hong will be very happy to take your questions and interact with you. Thank you very much for your time.